In this presentation, we will set up accounts for our fourth job cost system using classes within QuickBooks Pro, QuickBooks Desktop. Here is our problem four worksheet or QuickBooks file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown and the open windows list. Let's take a look at our objective by going to our Excel sheet. Within our Excel sheet, we're in the example tab all the way to the left. We're going to set up our accounts. Now, these are our beginning balances that we're going to have to enter. But right now, we could, we could set those up as we go, as we enter the journal entry, as we have done in the past. What I'd like to do now is set up those accounts that are going to be related to the material information. You'll recall last time that, I mean, when we think about the jobs, we have the direct material, the direct labor factory overhead. As we did in problem one and two, we could simply just make those general categories as our expense accounts. However, we might want to make more detail. So as we did in problem three, to make more detail, say for something like the direct materials, we can then break that down to whatever we use in our current job. I'm going to use the same listing of accounts for basically the material type of accounts. And that will give us some more detail within our, within our accounts. So I'm going to do the same kind of process here. We're going to set up these a listing of accounts. We're going to set them up as accounts under a subcategory of cost of goods sold. Let's see what that will look like. We're going to go back to the QuickBooks file. We're going to then go into our lists up top. I'm going to take a look at the chart of accounts. Now within the chart of accounts, if once we run the profit and loss statement, if we choose the account type, you'll recall anything under the cost of goods sold or in the account type here as cost of goods sold will be in a collapsible column. Within that collapsible column of cost of goods sold, I'd like to break out the three categories here, the three categories of the direct materials, labor, and then overhead. So we're going to create parent accounts called direct materials, labor, and overhead, and then we'll apply the direct materials to a sub account as sub accounts of the direct material parent account. We'll have the one direct labor. We could have multiple, but we'll do the same process here with just that one account. And then we'll have multiple factory overhead accounts that we will create under the subcategory of factory overhead. Anything that's not under the type of cost of goods sold then will not be included in these categories. And it works out really nicely then because you could see them and they will all have not, not be applied to a class. They'll be in unclassified or you can assign them to admin or selling uh, expense if you so choose. So that'll work out very nicely. Let's take a look at it. We're going to go back over here. We're going to th make three sub or parent classes, selecting the accounts drop down or the accounts rise up. And we're going to go then to the new. And then we're going to create the parent class. And it's going to be a, a type of account. And these are all going to be the cost of goods sold type of account. So I'm going to select the drop down cost of goods sold. Then I'm going to go continue. I'm going to call this direct materials. Direct materials. And no, there's no subcategory. I'm actually going to put it down in the description down here, direct materials. Then we're going to say save and close. And then I'm going to make the, the next one, the account drop down or rise up. We're going to make a new account. And I'm going to call this cost of goods sold type of account once again. So it's going to be cost of goods sold. Continue. This is going to be direct labor. So I'm going to say direct labor. I'm going to just copy this. And then I'll put it down in the description as well. And this time I'm going to say save and new. Save and new. And this is going to be factory. You don't have to call it factory. Whatever overhead. You might just want to call it overhead. But overhead. And then uh, we're going to copy that. And put it here. I mean if we're producing in the factory. It would be factory. If not, you know, uh, whatever overhead. It could be garage overhead. Or, you know, house overhead. Or warehouse overhead whatever it is so we're going to say save and close those are our three parent categories you may want to number them or so i'm not going to use account numbers here but um uh, maybe we'll talk about that at a later time and we're going to go then to the accounts drop down or rise up and make another one now we're going to make the subcategories for the direct materials once again they're going to be a cost of goods sold type of account cost of goods sold continue and I'm just going to copy these accounts here. So I'm going to say we want these surface finishing. And that's going to be here. It's going to be a sub account of the direct materials. These are all going to be sub accounts of the direct materials. I'm going to put the same description down here. 
Then I'm going to say save it new. Same thing. I'm just going to go through this process for all of these. I'm just going to copy. And this is in cell AC, uh, you know, call them AC if you just want to copy these instead, or you could type them in there, whatever you want to do. And then we're going to say this is going to be the next one. Again, subcategory of the direct materials. And there's a description, save and new. And we're just going to repeat this process multiple times. It's going to be very exciting. So we're going to go back up here to another name, subcategory, subcategory of the direct materials description we're going to say that's uh, what happened here subcategory of direct materials description and there we have that save and new next one i'm just going to copy this and then go back over here and we're going to put that into the account name subcategory of the direct materials and that's the description save and new let's do it again we're going to copy this one we're going to go back over and put that into the name subcategory of the direct materials. There's the description, save and new. Let's do it again. We're going to copy the next one, flooring, back over to QuickBooks. There it is, subcategory of materials and equipment. Description's the same, save and new. Once again, we have the marble this time back over account name subcategory of the materials and there's the description save and new and then we'll go back over we only get to do this like six more times and then we have to stop because that's all we got left and this is good time so we're going to go to the drop down direct materials description save and new back over we're to the paint on the paint we're going to copy that New account, subcategory of direct materials, description, same, save and new. Once again, we've got the staff, which is a type of artificial stone. So we're going to go back over here and say that's the account. We're going to say that's going to be under the direct materials, description, save and new. Next item, the stucco. We're going to take that. We're going to put that into the account subcategory of the direct materials and one more time we get to do this one more time this is the last time we get to do it this is the last one we're going to put the account and the subcategory of the direct materials and there's the description let's go ahead and save and close this time the blue button and see what we have so here's what we have we've got now the direct materials we have broken out into these categories so you can imagine what the income statement will be as we create the income statement we'll be posting to these items and and assigning them to the job and then so we're going to break out these by job and they'll also be grouped under a cost of goods sold because that's the type and within cost of goods sold under the parent category of direct materials which is our major subcategory which we can then collapse to just one number to the direct materials we'll do the same for the labor and the overhead, although we're going to do those as we go. Next time, we're going to set up our beginning balances and we'll see how this basically starts to play out.